morning YouTube, it's Craig here from Manx Bushcraft Survival and Wild Skills and today I just want to show you um, <clears throat> excuse me, a little pouch that was sent to me all the way from America by a gentleman called Ryan Scott Jones um, thank you Ryan for this, Ryan actually makes these pouches um, as you can see he's put a lot of detail into it put a nice little o-ring on it there a little strap there which I put a bit of paracord on nice sturdy buckle uh, and also if you look at what he's done on there if you can see it and uh, you probably see it back to front when this goes on but Ryan's done all of this um, work on it and he's also put my initials on it uh, just a fantastic bit of kit uh, it's got belt loops on the back um, you've seen my big survival kit that I did a while back but what I've done is I've changed this I'm going to use this as a belt pouch so I'll show you some of the stuff that I've put in it I've got a nice big uh, Primus flint and steel, nice and thick, uh, good fire steel and I've also put it on a little o-ring for the striker and some paracord and I've got to find a way of attaching this to a belt when I use it. There's a lot of redundancy in this kit, um, again there's a little less beaner, only a, only a little small one, holds about £2 I think, no a pound. Um, Another cobra weave paracord stitch with a little, little o-ring on it. In there I've got a little mag light, a little whistle and a little Gerber clutch. Quite a good little multi-tool. Now this is only for show because I know some people don't like bear grills. You know, it's up to you. But I've used this little pouch that, I, that actually fits inside here. As you can see with the other bits and bobs. But I'll show you what I've got in here. Um, and it's just my little survival kit. Got this for a Christmas present a couple of years ago. It's a, a Boca Magnum. Very nice knife, very sharp. It's got a pommel to break glass if need be. And it's also got a tin opener and a seatbelt cutter. Um, good folding knife to have. Uh, you should always have more than one knife on your kit. Little orange tube that I got for Christmas as well in here. I've got some cotton wool. Um, little fire starter and a load of fireproof matches um, you know you should have more than one way of starting a fire and you need to learn the skills so you can use them in the future if you ever need to duct tape everyone knows the uh, the uses for duct tape from plasters for lighting fire you can use 101 things to use duct tape with um, little roll made it myself it's not one that I bought just bought a roll of duct tape, uh, put a cocktail stick in the centre and just wrapped it around. It took, took me about 20 minutes to do that, but there must be about 15 foot apparent, well, no, about 10 foot of um, Gorilla Tape or duct tape on that. Gorilla Tape's the better one to get. Got a little compass. Uh, you've seen this before. I put it in a little waterproof bag. It's a little brass one, a marbles one. Um, very good compass um, and you can actually change the compass if it breaks keep the brass housing I've got some knot cards as I said in previous videos I don't like doing uh, knots not very good at them uh, but I've got a little knot card I can do the basic ones but little knot card it costs I think about £4 from the bushcraft store so I'm going to give them a plug because they're a good a good um, shop where I buy my stuff from also got an Altoids tin. Um, what I've done is I've put some gear in here. Um, it's just if I go out for a walk. I normally have a bigger survival kit in my kit. When I've got it in my rucksack, I've got fire kit, which I'll do um, a video on that soon. But just a little Altoids tin. I've put some um, electrical tape around it just to keep it waterproof. Oh, so it's good. You can use that for plasters, for other things as well. Also keeps the tin waterproof. So as you can see inside here, I've got some two packets of purification tablets. You need to purify your water. Um, normally carry a water bottle with me. Um, so one tablet for one litre of water. It takes about 30 minutes. Um, a lot of people when they're doing, um, don't get sedimented water and put these in. Try and filter it first with a bandana or something like that. Because the only thing that will happen is, is you'll purify the, the sediment and that's all you'll be, you know, all the, all the bacteria and 
everything else will still be in the water and you'll get quite bad diarrhea and vomit and stuff like that and if you're in a situation where you need water it's the last thing you want to do because you'll be losing all your your minerals and your vitamins out of your body so two packets of um waterproof tablets or water, water purification tablets you should say some wire um good for making snares tying kit up uh, it's it's not a lot of wiring, it's not very strong, but I'm actually going to change this out in my food prep kit. I've got a load of snares and bits like that, but on the Isle of Man, it's it's illegal to use snares. Uh, but it's good to have, you know, you just never know. Safety pins, you can use for fixing clothes, attaching gear to your kit if you need to, but also can be turned into fish hooks. Um, so I've got five of them and they fit in this kit quite nice. Uh, a roll of um, cotton, <clears throat> excuse me, cotton can be used for a lot of things. Instead of taking all the paracord off, using that, you can use that for emergency stitches if you need to, uh, repairing clothes, tying gear down, um, fishing line if need be. It's quite good line, that. Got a little uh, vial here and inside I've got a load of uh, fish hooks and some weights for a fishing kit some dental floss um it's a good thing to have as well for you can do lots with it you know i know there's a lot of redundancy here and you could probably put a lot more in but got some more wire little rubber um probably someone's going to tell me you can use rubber for a lot of stuff it burns well if you shave it and uh, i've got some paper and a pencil in here if i need to write and notes and whatever so I just have it in there for there but you can use it to um, start fire because it burns with it being rubber P38 tin opener you should always have a tin opener I've got two now so I've got one on my knife and one there razor blade for preparing food um, it's nice and sharp and that's what I use that primarily for I have a survival whistle um, it's quite a little good one, nice blaze orange colour, but also, as you can see, it's got a ferro small ferrocium rod if I lose the big one, and a little striker. So it's a good thing to have. In here, wrapped around a, an elastic band, I have an SE arrowhead and a pair of um, Uncle Bill's tweezers. So, and I've wrapped them up with a bit of a, an elastic band just to keep them in place, but you can also use the elastic band to light and fire. Different sets of needles for different things. I've also got a sail needle in there. Nice big thick one. You can use that for many things. Little torch. Uh, as well as the, the mag light, I've got another one. In both of the torches, what I've done is put little bits of paper in between the batteries to stop the battery from depleting. Pencil uh, for writing. Um, notes on the waterproof paper that I've got in here but also for using some of the shavings if need be to start a fire if you need to got some SE survival cards um, traps uh, basic navigation you know if if you're lost and you're with a group of people and not you're the one who gets injured um, these can help as well so I have them in there Fresnel lens, uh, good for using for a magnifier, as you can see on there, you know, people are hard to read in it, but also good for getting rid of ticks, and uh, also on a nice day as it is out here on the Isle of Man at the moment, good for light and fire, and some waterproof paper, three sheets, um, also with the way that this waterproof paper is, as well as using it for writing notes, you can also light fires with it. <clears throat> so what I try and do now is I put this on, on my belt in this pouch. It all fits lovely in the pouch and it fits in quite well. Um, I'll do some more videos soon. Say I've got a nice big, there's about 25 foot of paracord there in a cobra weave. Um, it's always good to have lots of rope because you just don't know. What would you put in your survival kit? Say this is just something that I keep on my pouch, need be with my knife and my... Barco Laplander, um, share your ideas, um, once again this is Craig from Manx Bushcraft, happy trails and speak to you soon.